Hello there, and welcome to me talking about space. Specifically, NASA's recent decision that we need to colonize Mars, and that we will be able to, though not for a few decades. Now, before I start, I would like to point out that I would have done this yesterday. However, due to some unforeseen circumstances, I was unable to do so. I would also like to point out that I would have done it with my new setup, but again, I'm currently unable to do that, so we're back to recording it on my phone. Um, so, NASA has, according to the internet, put out a thing to say that we need to colonize Mars, and we should be able to do so within a few decades. Um, I have to say that this is very exciting stuff, because for many years now it's been part of the human race's dream to have space travel, and this is probably the first step towards that. However, beyond the initial excitement, um, there's a slight problem that they're targeting kids for this, because as we should maybe all know, people who are currently in their prime would, in a few decades, be kind of old. Um, so, they're currently targeting under 10 year olds, so should it take three decades, then they'll be in their 30s. Um, this seems fair enough, other than the fact that, what if it goes wrong? The first way for people to colonize Mars would be full of people who are currently under 10, and if they're being targeted now to agree to it, then they're not legally able to give their consent for it, which means their parents probably will, which means that if it goes wrong, then the possibly millions of people who will die because of it will never have been able to give their consent to it. Which I don't think is particularly a good thing. But, all I know is the information that I've gathered from the internet, which I'll put links to the websites I used in the description. Um, so, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration for America is potentially taking us forward to universal civilization, which many scientists think is impossible due to the fact that the expansion of the universe is increasing and it's common thought that should we be able to get to near light speed travel, then by the time we've reached that level of technology to travel that fast, the world will already be, ex well, the universe will already be expanding faster than we can travel in the bounds of physical possibility. And so, whilst that is a very sad thought, um, maybe not. Like, if we are fast enough to reach that speed, then perhaps we can, but then we won't be able to travel in between the civilizations anyway, so I don't know. There's information about that on the internet somewhere. Um, I think Corkazat did a video on it, in a nutshell. Um, don't know. If, the, if I can find it, I'll put a link in the description to that video as well. Um, but you never know whether it will actually happen or not. But yeah. It's very exciting stuff, and I'd like to know what what your thoughts are, so let me know. Um, I'm very excited for this, even if I don't come across as it. But that might just be because I played a bit too much Warhammer 40,000 when I was younger. Who knows? Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below, or in any other way you have of getting in contact with me, what your thoughts are on the matter. And... Whilst you're going to the down below section of YouTube, feel free to check the description for all the links, and whilst you're there, the like and subscribe buttons aren't far off if you catch my drift. And if you don't, I mean like and subscribe, please. If you've enjoyed the video anyway. If not, then feel free to come back in like a month or so, try again, because you never know, my style may have changed, what not, you might like it then. 
Anyway, I'll catch you cats on the flip-flop, and I look forward to some, hopefully, intellectual discourse in the comments. Goodbye.